What is going on everyone? It is me Nato here and you see the title So Max no item auto mode run with the Dokkan Fest physical kid Goku team has been done by yours truly so This actually only took what? five attempts to get an auto mode and you know a lot of these rotations I got were like double physical kid Goku in one rotation you know, Hachan just completely away from the Kid Goku's and not getting his full passive. But on this turn, I did get it. And it's just incredible that this team is able to fully auto. You don't even have to play yourself. And no item, the hardest event in the game. Remember when Cellmax came out in August? And it's just like... Sure, it wasn't impossible like to beat him with like the best teams ever or even no item with like Vegeta and Trunks. But now we're getting all these units that are actually like completely demolishing this event. But to my knowledge, I haven't seen anyone like that I know, like you know, Truth, Ningen, you know, Toon Rami, all, all the Dokkan YouTubers, right? Uh, I haven't seen anyone post a full auto run of Cell Max. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below or, you know, replies on me on Twitter. And, uh, you know, it's just an impressive thing regardless to get a no item run. I just can't stress enough. And I'm sure you guys know how crazy it is. But, I mean, there's not really too much for me to explain here because it's not me making the moves, right? Usually with these type of videos that are like no item cell max runs or cell max clears, it's me talking about what strategies I used. But can't really apply in this scenario so i'll just talk about the units i did bring on the team now straight up hachan android 8 and kid goku have to be on the team they are obviously absolutely essential i mean kid goku is a leader after all kid goku by far just uh, the more i use them the more i just think there's a gap between him and every other dokkan fest you are in the game like like what other team can honestly like do this Probably I think like movie heroes is possible to go ahead and get an item run like this, but I like that's it, right? It probably be movie heroes. This team is because <laughs> every single unit here is able to defend really well, of course, of course against the final cell max phase. Uh, most of these units could survive a super attack against cell max. Kid Goku is providing support and damage reduction to even further provide that ability. His rainbow orb changing. Allows all these units to get their super attacks off. And this is super, super impressive. This Ink Kid Goku, the more I use him, the more I'm actually really liking him. Even though there is the issue with physical uh, Kid Goku and him not linking. Physical Kid Goku's presence is so strong that it's just too much. <laughs> it's pride's too much as Ink Kid Goku. Even as a floater, even as a slot one unit. He does incredible. Now, of course, there is some... RNG luck here like for example, we don't get super attacked on this turn, right? If we got super attacked in the middle by Kid Goku, we would have been straight up dead So it does take some RNG like always but the fact that it just didn't really feel like I needed that much RNG I didn't get like any lucky like I believe five dodge on a super attack or you know where I like survive at, like I like 10 HP or something like that. This was a pretty casual run like, even this Goku right here, he didn't even get many snacks right here. Um, there's just a lot here regarding it. Obviously, I said Inkid Goku, we'll, uh, we'll see later, but he does provide a lot in the damage area against Cell Max. And, you know, this physical one does as well. Like, look at the damage his normal attack did. What a stupid unit. Um, we have Xenopan, actually. Um, Xenopan, I feel like, by far, is probably the best aging heroes unit from last year. Her 50% dodge chance... The multiplicative you know boost she's getting the support from the physical kid goku she's giving all in the family as a link so she's able to link very well with both of these kid gokus here and that's just super nice the orbs fell really good for us there so we're able to get the seven key spheres and then you know again this in kid goku um him look at the damage he's gonna do on this turn right he's getting a double super attack there so he basically takes off like a whole half bar of his own very very impressive very important and he got the additional rumble there which even still did some pretty good damage and again this xenopan right here 50 percent dodge chance multiplicative defense is very important what had to happen here i think to win is well she had to dodge the super attack i think it's very important and she did have to take this normal attack 
that probably is the difference between me and losing actually no it is a hundred percent the difference between me winning and losing here having to fall to a lower hp threshold the reason why is because obviously next turn we will see but i have the tech carnival lr goku he is only at 55 percent, so he's not really doing the most damage or you know defending the best but the thing about this guy that you know many of the top two units in the game besides medical or don't have is a revive mechanic that revive mechanic just it's just so helpful especially when it comes to no item runs like this so you see we're like barely at 59 percent right here so we have the revive so we're completely safe we're able to nullify an action right there but all i know i nullified the super attack and then of course physical kid goku is able to get his active skill as well didn't really crit there so not the most damage but it's pretty nice we're able to heal up a solid amount here so no matter what especially with the damage reduction the Namek Goku here is going to be able to survive and with that he will be able to actually get off his um additional super attack by being in the first slot even though he doesn't have Lynx active he will still do a pretty solid amount of damage to Cell Max right here so I definitely will take that and obviously now uh the carnival goku is gonna die right in the middle here and that's is what happened right so it does go ahead and play the revive animation there that crit and the double super again super important there there is always rng with these runs but like if, if you have like dupes in these units like this is a realistic team you could use if you want a challenge run for yourself man i mean could you uh, let me know would you guys consider this like a challenge run i guess you would but it's like not really something you do yourself. I, I, it counts as a challenge run. I think more so though, it just shows you how potent Kid Goku is. Because even though he's not directly supporting these guys, he's given the damage reduction. And that's just such a huge thing. <laughs> yeah, he's giving damage reduction. He still takes 300k. But <laughs> um, still, you, you guys get the point, right? And this revive, the reason why this is so perfect, this revive in this team, is because it heals 59% HP. That's the sweet spot for in Kid Goku because in Kid Goku at 59% HP or more does get his additional attack. But if he's at 59% HP or less, that he does guarantee crit for the turn and he gets his active skill attack off. So this is really what cemented the win. And it's all because Pan took that normal attack right there. We have Hachan right here in the front able to tank basically everything. In Kid Goku with his guarantee crits, the additional attack right there. Even though we didn't have physical Kid Goku here, we're good, right? In Kid Goku is going to likely get multiple attacks in here. He's going to guarantee credit in this first attack. He's getting most of his links active here. So, again, these just panned out really well. Even Hachan got a crit right there. The boy, Hachan getting his crit on. And look at that, 9.6 mil guaranteed crit super attack, bro. Like, this does a lot to sell max. Look at that damage. And then we got the second super. He's going to get 10 mil attack stat. Guaranteed crits, man. This kid Goku, he, he impresses me a lot, this Easy A kid Goku, and he's extremely good for the Cell Max fight, and he's a really huge part why I won, because the damage he provided. We didn't even get the Doken attack. <laughs> we didn't even need the Doken attack to win here. I just, it's just crazy. I can't talk enough about how much I just enjoy this kid Goku team. That's why I went in early on the banner summon for him. I took a screenshot here, but like <laughs> it's so stupid and I, I didn't tell you i didn't this was on video but you'll see here i did actually do another multi and put it on twitter i got a second dupe for this kid goku we didn't really get any like special dodges in there but having the defense built on him is pretty important for him to be tanking obviously Ader did have full dodge in him every unit here is full link level 10 here are the builds i have right you know a lot of additional and then crit and the nama goku pretty even split right there pan obviously does have the um she so actually has a full additional build maybe i should change that to dodge that's probably pretty important and the in kid goku has a lot of additional so that's why you know he could potentially get triple supers a lot and then my uh carnival goku is 55 percent in the dupes of stun but that is pretty much it there again <laughs> let me know if, if you guys have seen an auto run of cell max but i again i don't remember seeing anyone do this so this might be even a first, but let me know, guys, uh, and how impressed you are with this kid, Yoku, what you think of him. That's it for me. I'm Minato signing off, and, of course, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace out.